What's going on, Dragon Brawlers? Scott Seven back again here, joined by Lucky Smith. How are you doing, sir? Hello, hello. I'm tired and remote. Yeah, it's been a long one. Uh, moving house is never easy. Uh, but you know what helps with moving houses? Superheroes! I don't know how that's a transition, but it is. On Friday, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Oh my god, I'm actually looking really forward to going and seeing it again. Well, I'm looking forward to not seeing it from a fern in a Japanese theatre with no subtitles and having no idea what's going on. Have you actually seen it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched it on Twitter while I was in Miami. It was a fun ah. time. Um... <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, bear, bear with us, obviously, not the normal quality you expect from us, but we're going to go through today's reveals, and we'll start with Piccolo. Uh, so he's a superhero, so he's Piccolo, shh. He's a Namekian god, and he's from DBS Superhero Saga. Discard one card from your hand when this card attacks, look up to, fi look up to five cards from the top of your deck, add one yellow card among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So, pretty consistent. Add a card to your hand. Uh, so it reminds me a lot of uh, Cell Surge. Yeah. Because you looked at the top five, added a card to hand, and then you needed to discard here, you need to discard first. That is true. Uh, <clears throat> definitely important to know that you need to play this pretty much mono yellow, otherwise, you risk of discarding a card and getting nothing. That would be a sack. You could play green yellow, right? It doesn't say that it adds mono yellow, yeah, but as in all the cards in your deck need to yeah, be yeah, yellow. Yeah, 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 that is true, that is true. Uh, yeah, yeah, you you run five black cards and all you, all you see is black cards cry, cry internally. Um... <laughs> One time we had the Zamasu match on the first tournament, and he forgot to charge, proceeded to activate the leader ability, and dropped a Black Mask Saiyan. Oh no. Or oh. black, or say, or whatever. In any, in either case, he didn't drop. Uh, you want to avoid that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, awaken skill is when your life is far less, or you, or you have a mono yellow Sun Gohan superhero Z battle card in play. Well, we know we're gonna get a Z battle card of uh, Sun Gohan now. Then uh, you may yeah. draw one card, switch up to one of your energy to add to mode, and add cards till you're at six. So basically, if you're far less life, you can work, flip over. And if you've got a Sun Gohan, you can go to six and flip over. Yeah. And so draw one on top one, which... It's standard. Yeah, at this point it is, isn't it? Uh, then we've got Piccolo facing new foes. And that is a, that is a clean looking Piccolo. I really like that artwork. Um, yep. Auto, once per turn, if it's your turn, when you play a yellow card from your drop or a Z battle card, draw a card. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, when this card attacks, draw one and discard one card from your hand. Mm, e okay. That's an eel. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's going to be playing stuff from your drop quite a bit, by the looks of it. It's how easy can you play cards from your drop and can it be stopped by opponent easily? Because if it can be stopped, that means you have no, no easy inherent advantage. So you're already behind compared to other leaders that they just need to attack and they will always draw. That is true. That is true. Uh, activate battle once per turn. Discard one card from your hand. Use up to one yellow battle card with 5k combo power from your drop with its skills negated for the turn. And this card gets 1k power? Yep. For the battle. Uh, so the cards you discard, I'm guessing you can combo with. Uh, You can. Yeah. But... Yeah, yeah, you can discard a card. If it's a yellow battle card with 5k combo power, you can. Um, I actually think the biggest potential for this one is the multicolor cards. Because it does let you use uh, not only mono yellow battle cards with 5k combo, but yellow green as well. Yeah, and there are quite a few yellow green 1 fives. <clears throat> so I think the multicolor, that might be a really good one, because normally it costs one energy, but here you can just discard the card. So make it any card into that multicolor, into the arrival. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, very nice. And plus the 1k power is always nice for defensive. Yeah. Uh, so for offensive, it doesn't do anything. But for the defensive, yeah, it's essentially put it at 25k. Yeah, which is really nice. So I actually kind of like that to it, Battle. Um, the battle is really nice. The auto is all yeah, right. It's, it's weird. Um, auto is just... It, yeah, it, it, like you said, it comes down to how how often you're going to be playing cards from your drop. If it's going to be quite consistent, then it's okay. But 
Yeah, it's otherwise like a... that's a real uh, yikes. <laughs> It's cards that have inherent ability to play themselves from the drop, and they don't need other cards to do that. That should be fine. Uh, so let's go to an SR. Sun Gohan, Flash of Brilliance. This is not the Z battle card. Uh, this is just a regular battle card. It's an 8-drop, 3-yellow, 5 30k. Deflect, dual attack, X-Evolve, limit 1, 1-yellow, one 2 any other, yellow Sun Gohan superhero. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, permanent. Uh, if this card would be removed from the battle area, move it from the game instead. That's an interesting uh, little permanent on it. Uh, you can also activate this card's X Evolve from your drop. I think that's why it removes itself. Yeah, because then otherwise you could loop it. Yeah. Uh, now that actually made me think about something. What happens to the Z battle card if you evolve on top of it? Keeps on top, right underneath it. And what happens when that evolve card is removed from play? Then it goes to the drop, right? See, battle cards can't exist so in the drop. So get removed from the game. Okay. Uh, I clarification for that. If you have, if you have four or more energy and a yellow pan superhero in play, when this card, uh, this card, when this card is played, it gains double strike and barrier for the turn. Okay. So wall attack, double strike, deflect barrier. <laughs> so I feel like I know the answer for this, but I'm just gonna do, like obviously it wouldn't hurt it anyway because it's uh, an eight drop. But if I so I've got the pan on board, right? I play this. My opponent plays like uh, freezer. So because you're a ten player, your auto resolves first, so it gains barrier before yeah. freeze. And then, and then even if they kill the pan, it's you've still gained it because when it came into play, it was there, right? Keeps yeah. double striking. Yeah, I, I thought that's how it worked, but I'm just double checking. Um. If you have a yellow unison in play when this card attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, negate its skills for the turn, and KO it. That's nice, but it doesn't Get ignore the barrier. <laughs> yeah. If you want. At the same time, it can remove two battle cards a turn because it's a dual attack, and that on attack auto is not once per turn. Oh, that's true. That is... Yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's good. That's I... definitely interesting. I... I... It's interesting. I'm excited to play with it. Also, it's zero cost 5k combo. Oh, crap, yeah. Yeah, that's that's huge. That's mm. actually kind of huge. Uh, I'm very excited to see what I can do with this deck. Because I love Gohan, and this seems quite fun. Because you can do his X Evolve from... Well, uh, which is why I guess it's got a limit one on that X Evolve. It's like, haha. Oh, because you could... Oh, no, that's nutty. If it... Yeah, if it didn't have limit one, you could get this guy out, swing, and then restand, yeah. and then X Evolve on top of it with the same card. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Fair fair play, Bandai. You caught that one. Um, then we've got Pan Inherited Bloodline. If you want to take this one. This is the first time that we have Pan with a different character name. Because until now, everything was just Pan. Is she not Pan GT? No. Oh. Wait, is she not? No. Wait, so the yellow Pan from Super and the Pan are technically the same? Yes. Lol. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so first time we have Pan. Shh. Shh. Pan. Shh. <laughs> so Pan inherited bloodline. Free drop one specified yellow ten thousand power. Deflect unique and dual attack. And when she would leave your battle area, you remove her from the game instead. You're gonna have a lot of cards removed from the game by the end of this deck. <laughs> yeah. So you will have drop, warp, remove from game. Yep. <laughs> All of my decks here now. <laughs> By the way, X Evolve also plays the card, so that procs the Piccolo leader uh, regarding uh, Gohan. Oh, nice. Uh, so, yeah, uh, if you want to take the next bit. Auto, one yellow. If your leader is yellow and your opponent has two or more energy, when you place this card from your Z energy in your drop to pay the Z energy cost of a mono yellow Z battle card with cost of two or more, you play this card from your drop, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, ignoring barrier and Woo! KO it. Yeah, let's go, Pan. Let's go. It's so convoluted texting. It, oh, it is. It's 100% super too wordy. If he needs to be in Z energy, which is what the Piccolo leader does, technically. Yeah. Uh, then she needs to be sent from there to play a mono yellow Z battle card with cost two or more. Mm -hmm. And then you can pay one yellow to play her and remove something in rest mode. Yes. 
And when this card attacks, you use up to one mono yellow card with 5,000 combo power from your drop in a combo with its skills negated for the battle. And she has dual attack. And that's not once per turn either. Nice. Exactly. So that charge, she charges you to uh, the energy. Nice. I was wondering why is she unique, but that's why she's unique. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty kickass actually. Yes, let's go, Pan. I, I actually really like this card. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm really. I'm a big fan. Yes, the uh, first auto is a bit wordy, but I feel like that has a lot of potential actually. I think that has even more potential than we think because a she's a say and b she's an earthling, and nothing in here is restricted to any leader or battle card. Exactly. So she's going to be one of the yellow staples because yellow doesn't have enough staples yet. No, right? I mean, yellow is just not a strong color at all. No. Uh, no. <laughs> We're being facetious, if you couldn't tell. Uh, oh, I was waiting for this artwork. I love this outfit on Pan. It's so cute. Uh, so this is a, uh, <laughs> it's a yellow card. No shit. It's a unison card with a cost of two yellow. Pan facing new foes. Permanent. If you have some Gohan superhero in play, in rest mode, your opponent can't attack this card. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. Or uh, if uh, one yellow, if your leader card is pick a superhero card, when this card is discarded from your hand, play this card from your drop in rest mode with a marker on it. Oh. That's all right, but... Okay. Yeah. Does that proc its all? I don't think it does, does it? Sorry? No, it doesn't because it's not the battle oh, card. Oh, yellow card. Does it say yellow card? Yellow card. Oh, wow. So this does proc your leader's draw. Okay. You that's... do have to pay one energy for it, but yeah, that's worth, right? I mean, we don't have free place anymore in this game, and good. Just, we saw what they did. Uh, oh my god, it's two plus twos. Uh, plus two, activate main draw one card and the sky one card from your hand, which is fine. It's filtering. Yeah. Uh, activate main plus two, choose up to one super, uh, Sun Gohan superhero card in your battle area. In rest mode, it gets 10k power until the start of your next phase. Uh, your next main phase, sorry, I should say. So it's to protect the Gohan. The Gohan goes to 40k. They can't attack this. She's 15k. Yeah, this is kind of scary. She keeps on building up the markers. Uh, easy work with uh, Vegeta counterplay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you've got the repurst as well, right? You've got power of Super Saiyan. Yeah. Uh, th this this really le legitimately has uh, a chance to be quite a scary deck, I think. Based on what? these cards that we've seen right now. Yellow. Also yellow. <laughs> Which means like success is a potential play. Uh, oh my, yeah, all you need is a one drop yellow card and then you could success her into sell off of Pan, Gohan and the one drop. So it looks like a really interesting archetype. I'm excited to play it. I'm not gonna lie. I, I think I think this is. I'm not the biggest fan of yellow, but this is like, I I like this. Like I like the trunks thing where you just kind of powered up into a bigger version of trunks, and it seems to be something similar. Isn't this the? Isn't tomorrow the Daddy Bardock day? Oh, that's true. That might change everything. Exactly. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I just, I'm just not a whole fan of the switching stuff to rest mode. I just don't think that's my style, style of play. I get it. If it is, that's not a judgment, by the way, people. Uh, but yeah, I like, I like this kind of building a tower and just going smashy, smashy. That's, that's kind of fun to me because that's kind of the essence of Dragon Ball, right? <laughs> you build a victory strike and you win the game out of yeah. hundred something negate. Yes. Um, this is my final attack! <laughs> oh no, it didn't kill you. I'll go to a new form! This is my final attack! <laughs> now will Z awaken. Ah, into go further beyond! Uh, yeah, so that's uh, today's reveal. It's quite, quite interesting. Uh, I'm glad we got Superhero this early. I thought we were having to wait till next set. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so this is promising to me. Uh, it kind of very much tells you what you're going to get for Z2. Like, oh boy, after Friday, everyone's going to be hyped for Z2. I can tell you that. I know I know, I am. Um, so, yeah. Uh, overall thoughts? Any any final comments? I'm looking to see more of what Piccolo does because at the moment he has three cards that have decent engine. 
but I expect to see more, and I want to see how strong the engine is going to be, because the engine looks really scary at the moment. Fair enough, and, and that's all, folks. So uh, come back tomorrow for Bardock, then, I guess. Yeah. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Uh, guys, if you are new here, please do hit that subscribe button. If you like this content, hit that like button. And, of course, let us know in the comments below what you thought of these yellow reels. What did you think of Z1, Dawn of the Z Legends? Like, let us know, guys. It's, it's a good time to be a Dragon Ball fan. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye!